this is Andrea, your host, and welcome back to Date and Debate. I am here with Christiana, the CEO of Vouch. Hi, Christiana. How Hi. are you? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. It's been a week. It has. For me, at fast. least. I had a weird week. Yeah. It, Mercury was still in retrograde, if <sighs> you believe in that stuff. I do. The first day that I got locked out of my own garage of my building, it was a you long did. day. It was like 11 o'clock and my arm to the garage wouldn't come up. So I'm just sitting outside like, all right, oh, I guess I'm going to no. die here. <laughs> Star, I'm I'm like, you didn't is die. Mercury in retrograde, and it was. It was, and I think it's still for like another week or so. Okay, well, it's good so, luck, everybody. I know for real. <laughs> awesome. So uh, before we start talking about vouch and what you do, and just like sharing any stories, um, tell us a little bit about you and how what you do and how you got to how you got to vouch. Um, it's a, a very strange story, but a fun one, and I think it's somewhat relatable for some people. Um, I actually studied biology and chemistry in college and had this idea that I wanted to be an ER physician. Mm -hmm. And I loved um, patients. I loved the clinical side of things. I have this obsession with, um, you know, anatomy and physiology. And I'm just was obsessed with patients and people. And, um, and I wanted to be an ER physician, which people are like, that's insane. You're insane. <laughs> um, but my brain kind of worked, you know, in that capacity. Like if you could open up my, you know, Google Chrome on my computer. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm that girl who has 75 tabs running oh, I'm and I'm same. like wondering why my Mac's not working. Yeah. So I'm like, why is my computer breathing like this? I am literally the same. I was in a presentation <sighs> the other day and I had all these tabs open and one of my mm -hmm. team members is like, I'm having major anxiety just looking at your screen. And I'm like, I'm sorry. This is just that's like my me. organized chaos. Yeah, that's me. And But I lo I can talk, you know, in the same way you toggle through those tabs in the ER, it's kind of that way. Different tab, different story, different patient. And then there's an intervention of sorts where, you know, they come to you with whatever need, address it, solve it, fix it onto the next. Mm -hmm. And you know, versus like long ongoing care where I see the same patient every day for uh, 20 years, yeah. um, which is fine. But for me, my brain worked in that kind of fast paced, high turnover environment. And I loved it. And I th really I've thrived, you know, in that setting. And so after graduating from college, I gave myself this year off before starting medical school. Mm -hmm. And um, I met this ER physician working on an app. And long story short, we collaborated to create, launch and grow a company called Mend, mm -hmm. which you were on the Mend. So it was okay. on on demand house calls. So people oh, like cool. you and me, you're, we're busy. I mean, I don't have a primary care physician. I don't have yeah. an ongoing medical need. So the one time I get a sinus infection, I'm at an urgent care or, mm -hmm. you know, some people use the emergency room like a primary care. And so we built a service that was booked through, you know, at the time it was very difficult to book appointments still, mm -hmm. um, but you could, you know, very Uber like book it through your phone. Mm -hmm. And um, we launched that company in March of 2015, sell this company by December of 2015, a very expedited process. Um, I'm 23 ish at the time, I think. And, um, it was just crazy whirlwind of building something, launching it, selling it, the experience of going through an acquisition that was absolutely insane and having to literally merge teams and figure yeah. out my place. And, you know, it wasn't an environment for, um, it's funny, the company that we were purchased by their corporate office is not far from here, which oh, is so really? funny to me to like drive by it because I remember having, I have a little bit of PTSD, you mm -hmm. know, I was a young minority female and mm -hmm. my family's from Mexico and, um, I, uh, was really young, didn't have an MBA. I had a biology and chemistry degree. So like, who am I to walk into this legacy this, health system? Yeah. And be like, hey, you guys, there's a lot to do it. Yeah. And, um, I just knew in my heart that I could stay there probably for several more years um, or I could make my own exit, you know, leave and and do something that really fulfilled me. And so um, I was working through that startup, left, joined another medical startup in the obesity and weight, weight loss related space, which was fascinating to me mm -hmm. and, it, and something that's desperately needed. Mm hmm. And, um, I just realized over and over again that I thrived in the patient experience and building what, you know, from a Google ad that you, you know, interact with all the way to the follow-up call that you might get from your provider, Yeah, how important that was for it to make sense. And what's interesting enough that now I run a dating app I know, and like the change. <laughs> when I look at what my patients in my past have looked for, it was transparency and um, they wanted to understand what to expect. It was all about like getting insight about what their experience was. You want to know how long are you going to wait? You know, how much is this going to cost? Mm -hmm. What, you know, and daters are looking for the same thing. So in a very long, strange series of events, and this all happened within five years, mm -hmm. um, I met an investor, um, who goes by the name of Rogers Healy. You've probably seen his spray yeah, tan face on TV somewhere. Yeah. I've seen, um, billboards. billboards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I met he's him. He's in real estate mainly. Real estate. Yeah. yeah. I met him, um, years ago and in a totally different setting. And 
he had said to me, hey, I, do you know the Vouch team? I said, yeah, you know, I watched the founders get married on TV six <laughs> years ago. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. But um, he said, I really, you know, I'd really like for you to participate um, in this. And I don't know what that looks like for you or if you want to. And um, Vouch was founded by a very small name of Sean Lowe, um, oh, yeah. who was on The Bachelor and one of like Catherine. the only Sean and Catherine and yeah. they're on the co-founding team and um, they <laughs> launched a dating app here in Dallas and um, Vouch was invested by Rogers was one of the lead investors in the very, very early stages of it. And so there's all these like weird things connecting me back to this dating app. And mm -hmm. um, so I made this very strange pivot from creating technology to combat the obesity epidemic to, you know, all dick the crazy pics. things dick pics that happen <laughs> on dating apps. And um, yeah, so that's a very strange experience that I've had, but little highlights along the way that made me realize that, that, that it doesn't really matter what industry I work in. I find these things that I really care about and mm -hmm. I know how to execute on. And, and that's building in my case now, the dater experience, mm -hmm. previously the patient experience. And then in between all of that, I've launched other companies and focused on just what it means to be a customer. Yeah. Because I'm very, I'm like almost hypersensitive to what it is to be like the owner of a business, yeah. but even more so what and it means consumer. to be the customer yeah. and the consumer, um, which has been just really fun to figure out how that all plays out, That's especially awesome. in the dating world. I know. So, uh, okay. Let's yeah. talk okay. about the dating world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So super interesting story. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing. That yeah. is awesome. And I I could ask you for days like yeah. <laughs> what like the transition has been like, but let's dive into it like the dating part a little bit. So yeah. I'm not a vouch consumer, but yeah. I I would I hope that after this interview I'll be curious You'll about be it. You'll be convinced. I'll be convinced. Yeah. I have tried all dating apps. Mm -hmm. Well, when I say all the majority, like yeah. I still haven't done like farmers or whatever. <laughs> like oh. I don't need a farmer in my life. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I've definitely tried Bumble, Tinder. Yeah. I'm currently on Hinge. I just have it on my phone, but mm -hmm. I don't really use it. Yeah. I haven't had the best experiences. Yeah. Um, if you've ever read my blog, if you haven't, I definitely suggest you do. There's some crazy stories on there. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't had great experience. So tell me mm. why Vouch is different from the rest or yeah. what makes it different. Well, let rest. me, I'm going to spin it around to you because okay. I, I haven't gotten to read your, your blog yet, but yeah. your experience is what, it, is it, um, you know, someone misrepresenting themselves? Is it just a little bit of everything? Yes. So ghost, I've had, I mean, g give me the highlights. Give me your like so, top three concerns on dating apps. So one is misre uh, misrepresentation for mm -hmm. sure. So an example is I started talking to this guy. He had pictures from the torso up, mm -hmm. but didn't look and like nothing really like was alarming to me. Mm -hmm. There was no red flags. Mm -hmm. Good conversation. Didn't have the height listed, but I never, although I like taller guys, I've never like focused on that. Long story short, I get to this bar. He shows up and he's like four foot six or four foot nine. <laughs> yeah. And I'm short. Wait. I'm five two. So oh, like in the fours? <laughs> yes. It was, okay. like, he All was right. short. Like he was my shoulder length. I'm like, mm -hmm. do I carry this person? Like All what? Right. Like, just, you know, piggyback ride? Like, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> yeah, that. Um, okay, misrepresentation. Misrepresentation. Okay. Um, people just l lying. Like, uh -huh. hey, I'm looking for a relationship. But in reality, they're not. Mm -hmm. um, and Have you dealt with like... Um like verbal abuse or like people being like wildly inappropriate. Yes. So actually that just happened to me last week. I haven't, I didn't, I didn't go on a date, but yeah. it was this guy who like posted on my, one of my pictures. He was like, are you ready to open your legs for me or something? Which is, it was something along those lines. I cannot remember exactly what it was. Cause it was so like, ugh, it was gross. Yeah. Um, and then when I said something back, he was like, well, I got your attention. Didn't I? And it's like, that's the worst. Way. Okay. If, Brad, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, report block. Goodbye. Yeah. Um, so yeah. That, that definitely happens a lot. Okay. So, if you know, to summarize, misrepresentation, lying or like, you know, a lack of authenticity mm -hmm. and then just this like almost like dehumanization aspect, yes, right? 1000%. Okay. So what Vouch does is addresses, <laughs> oddly enough, all the things that you're talking about. So Vouch, we call it the social matchmaking and dating app because it's not just a dating app and we're not just doing this like wingman thing. We're like bringing daters and non-daters into this similar interface. Mm -hmm. And so for you, as an example, you download this app, you create your profile, not unlike, you know, the other dating apps is very, you know, there's a bio and a photo. Mm -hmm. and But with this unique opportunity that Vouch offers is there are, are vouchers and what your vouchers say. And it lives on your profile kind of like a link. Do you use LinkedIn? Yeah. Um, recommendations at the bottom of yeah. a profile. Like, oh, okay, you see what someone's done, their photo, you know, their experience. And at the bottom, there are these like really warm, thoughtful references mm -hmm. that live on your profile. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the job punch, you can go and, you know, 
or you're hiring someone, you can go see what people say about them, you know, and it, it, they're usually like little things like, yeah, she's great at, let's just use it, digital marketing, mm-hmm. you know, social media, SEO, blah, 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 blah. But mm-hmm. there's always this like little bit of like warmth to it yes. where it's like, but she fits great into company culture. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, we love having her as part of the team. She's a good leader. That's what the voucher aspect looks like. You as a dater invite your references, who are your friends and your family and the people who are kind of rooting you on and supporting you. Um, you invite them to vouch for you. So photo, bio, what your vouchers say about you. Now, sorry to interrupt. Um, do my vouchers have to download the app to do that? Right now they do. We're working on making it really, really easy so that okay. they don't even have to download the app. They can maybe even communicate via text, okay. a text bot and, okay. you know, say, Hey, do you know Christiana? And you know, would you vouch for her? Yes. You know, tell us a fun story and it kind of populates it for you. Cool. Um, but in this instance, um, you know, the, the point of this, there's a couple of things and when the team, and I have to commend them for this because it was, they're way ahead of their time mm-hmm. when they were coming up with the vouch concept. Um, by including someone's social circle, you know, dating can be this like an endless, mindless swiping zone where you just get so into it and you're just solo in it the whole yeah. time, right? And then well, girls are more social, like we'll screenshot <laughs> yes. what guys say or yeah. we'll either post it or share <laughs> oh with God, our friends. So many oh yeah, oh you need to send them to me. Yeah. Um, you know, we'll take screenshots and and say, hey, what about what do you think about this guy? And we're very mm-hmm. social about it. Guys are too. Surprisingly, I'm learning more about that. Um. But, you know, women are more more social. And so what Vouch allows for people to do is you know, the vouchers can be single or not. Mm-hmm. I've got friends who vouch for me, you know, that are married or have been married for 20 years. But now they finally get to, you know, get vouch a dating app and vouch for somebody. And yeah. so um, I never thought about that. Yeah, you're right. Because I have a lot of friends that never have used mm-hmm. dating apps. They were really like, those people that met in middle school. Yeah, and I'm like, like okay, lucky you, whatever. Guys, like, you've been together for 20 years. We, we get, get it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so so you, you invite your friends to vouch for you, single or not. And um, and then they can kind of pre-select matches for you. So they, they can see, you know, they can almost kind of clone your profile. So if I was to, you know, vouch for you, then I can go swipe through potential matches wherever you're located. Let's mm-hmm. say I live in New York and you live here. I could still see you know, people your geographic here. location. Mm-hmm. And the goal of that was that people were swiping for so long and just aimlessly. And then, you know, they're kind of missing out on people that they might have overlooked yeah. for whatever reason. Um, but if your friends so say, true. Hey, I vouch for this person, it sorts to the top of your profile. So okay. you'll see pre-selected matches from me. So there's two ways. And when I first joined the team, I thought, oh, my God, I'm going to get all these angry emails from these girlfriends who are like, oh, yeah, I saw my boyfriend on vouch, vouching for his friends, quote unquote. Yeah. Um, but they were really, you know, dating. Mm-hmm. Um, not the case. There's two separate interfaces. Okay. You're there to date. You're there to vouch. Got it. Um, and so going back to the three things that you have, you know, concerns about, and that's that's largely, you know, as popular as dating apps are and as much money as they're making, how fast they're growing. 50% of single people between kind of like the prime dating age mm-hmm. in the United States still haven't used a dating profile or yeah. a dating app of, or service of any kind. Mm-hmm. Reason cited, safety, and yeah. author, you know, inauthentic accounts, misrepresentation, and the stigma that kind of comes with it. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, in this setting it's simple to include these friends and family to vouch. And at first it was like, Oh, this is cute. This is social. Now we've got this like untapped market. We can talk to the non daters. Mm -hmm. But when we really looked at it, it provided a safer, more authentic approach to dating that I could not find anywhere. Mm -hmm. Tinder is not doing it. Yeah, they don't. Bumble's not doing it. They definitely don't do it. Hinge isn't doing it. Mm -hmm. There's no, there's no accountability. And so when I joined the vouch team, I downloaded, my phone was a mess for a while. I downloaded like 16 dating apps and there are so many and I'm not trying to say that there aren't like a billion there are different so dating many. profiles. Yeah. Um, but I downloaded like 15 or 16 on my phone. Mm-hmm. I created a profile on, on every single one. I used photos of dogs. I used photos of models. I made a fake name. Mm-hmm. I made my age 23. I, you know, faked a bio. None, none of my profile was real on any of these things. And there was nothing to like, no one stopped me. And mm-hmm. so I swiped right or whatever the, you know, whatever it was, yeah. um, liked or whatever to try and match with people and people matched with me every single time. Like, yeah. and I'm not talking like one or two. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of dog, you know, I had a Corgi as my, yeah. <laughs> my favorite dog. Yeah. Um, I don't even have a dog, but I wish it did. Uh, I used like a weird Corgi photo and I got matches with that. And I just had like a funny bio that yeah. wasn't even real, um, That's a crazy. fake name. So nothing stopped me from doing that. In the same way that nothing's stopping me, nothing is stopping total psychopaths, guys with bad intentions or no intentions at all mm-hmm. from creating profiles and be- becoming or you know, creating this persona of themselves that doesn't isn't true. Yeah. 
Um, this isn't to say that people don't find success. My little sister's getting married in May to someone she met on Tinder. Yeah. Um, but what was the deal? You know, not breaker. The the reason why she kind of moved forward with it. She we had a hundred friends, hundred friends like in common. Mm-hmm. I went to high school with him. I knew all of his buddies, and she was like, "Hey, do you remember?" Deontay and I was like oh my god we I vouch for him all day yeah you know like I I loved him we loved his family like go on that date yeah. and so now they're getting married awesome you know like yeah. just there are some success you know you were actually where your event your photography thing yeah was at Lauren Wade's wedding oh and yeah, they met yeah. on Bumble yes so, and so yeah. I, I love I mean if it didn't work I wouldn't be doing this yeah. like it's it's obviously working um, How long have you been with Vouch? One year. Oh, wow. Yeah. The cheesy marketer in me announced it like <laughs> Valentine's Day last year. So I've been with it just a little bit over a year now. Okay. But, um, you know, what we were realizing is that when friends invite another friend to vouch for them, two things happen. They represent themselves more accurately. Mm-hmm. And then they just kind of are more intentional with, you know, communicating. So they're not going to text, you know, message you once and then ghost you. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, shoot, you know. Lord is vouching for me. Mm-hmm. I want to make sure that I like have a good communication sure. or, you know, okay. To be frank, I hope people are less of an asshole. <laughs> okay. Because if you, uh, I use this comparison the other day and it haunts me because I'm so competitive. I looked at my Uber. Do you know what your Uber rating is? Your, dr- your rider did. rating? Yes, yes, yes. What is your uh, rider rating? Last time I checked and I checked it like a month ago, it was 4.7. And I'm like, what did I do wrong? Okay. <laughs> It's like who this did I has piss caused off? me more sleepless nights than anything <laughs> in my yours? Life. like four point eight or something. I mean, and I'm I, like really. I mean, I'm like, why am I not a I'm five? So nice. I know, and I talk to everybody. I'm like, maybe did I talk too much? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly like. I wish I could see what I could have done better. exactly. But <laughs> it makes consumer. you now hyper aware, right? Yeah, of yeah, like yeah. how you're acting. So now, I'll like, sit up straighter in Ubers. I'm like, I gotta get that five star. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be nice. And am I talking too much? And a lot of times I'm not talking at all because yeah. I'm working or sometimes I book Ubers because I know I'm gonna have to be texting or emailing a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't want to crash my car. Yeah, so, yeah. um, I don't really drink. So it's like, you know, I'm taking it more of a convenience than anything. Mm-hmm. And, um, now I'm like hyper aware of this in that same way. We want people to like now become aware of how many people are vouching for them mm-hmm. because, you know, someone said the other day, like, well, what, what keeps a married person from joining the app or what create, you know, keeps a, a guy who just wants a hookup from joining the app. I'm like, well, I can't know that. I don't know intentions, but yeah. does that person have oh, one person vouching for them? Or no people have- vouching for them? Or do they have like 15 of their closest yeah. buddies and their colleagues and their sister-in-law? And um, do they have those people vouching for them? Mm-hmm. And you can see that it's very much like a professional reference. Someone the other it. day tweeted and I was like, can I please use this for a <laughs> post? It was like every date from now on, I'm going to ask for three professional references <laughs> and like their credit scores. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, please. Credit scores. Well, honey, so, mine isn't that great right now, but uh, hey, but like, you know, important. I used to help write blogs when I first moved to Dallas about, about dating in Dallas. And, um, there was what we called the $30,000 millionaire mm-hmm. who like drove a Mercedes, but didn't have a headboard. Yeah. You know, like it was like a mattress on the ground. Yeah. 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 Like I want to know that guy's credit score before yes. we ever hang out Check. because don't show me your fancy car. And then no, you, that know, you have 17 like, roommates. Yeah. <laughs> I used to live in Miami and that reminds me of like the Miami lifestyle. Like everybody has the best cars, the best clothes, but then go check out their house. And it's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. not. It's like, oh, yeah, not really. That. But it, it's this thing like, you know, you know what to expect. I have friends who um, are guilty of like over editing photos. Mm-hmm. And when I see them on Vouch, I'm always like, that's not you. You yeah. know, like the guy that might have, you know, only shown part of his face um, or th- someone told me the other day that hat fishing. Do you know what hat fishing no, is? No, I've never heard of that. It's a new one. <laughs> when, <laughs> when a guy only wears oh, yeah. a hat photo, and they don't, like, then they're bald or that and they, then, like, they like, show up on the date and they're like, oh. Yeah. You don't have hair yeah. or, <laughs> or you have like part of it, oh, part of your hair. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, we're sitting here like 25. I have noticed that. And I tend to not swipe on guys that only have hat pictures. Oh, we'll have to talk about all like, the photo pet peeves that people have. Oh but gosh, this so is many. all to say that we hope that, you know, by including people to vouch for you and support you, you're going to represent yourself more accurately. You're going to swipe with intent and be, you know, this is not another hookup out there. You, we don't need any more of those. Definitely not. Plenty of options. All of them have turned into that. Like, yeah. Not a single one, to be honest, is mm-hmm. free from that. No. I mean, and I think I'm not vouch, but I mean, it could be. Mm-hmm. And it, it, you know, I'm not saying that like I, I want to have users have enough control mm-hmm. that they feel comfortable being who they are online. 
Um, but are you as open, you know, to telling your friends and family like, Hey, I'm on this app. Can you vouch for me? Mm -hmm. If you're not super proud of whatever way you're going with it, you probably won't. If you're super proud of it and people know about it, fine. Yeah. Have those people vouch for you, but at least you're being authentic to who you are. For sure. That's, that's my goal. Um, is, is love, you know, providing this level of accountability that like we, to be candid, um, and that's what I am. I'm sorry. (laughs) Uh, is, uh, we care more about reviews of what someone says about a new brunch spot that we're going to, mm-hmm. what people have to say about that more than we care about sometimes the people that we get into bed with. You're right. You're absolutely My right. My friends ask less questions mm-hmm. about guys and Damn, girls. That, that, I feel attacked right now. <laughs> <laughs> but think but about it. Like, so true. Why, you know, w- when you go to look at, let's just say, have you booked something on Airbnb? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, when oh, you yeah, look when, at all the reviews. Okay. But why? Because there's pictures there's yeah and someone wrote something but why I are you to make sure because i've heard horror stories too mm-hmm. and i just want to make sure that i'm not walking into a place that's filled with rats or yeah that's going to be like misrepresented or what to expect or what thing, to expect. right yeah so exact exactly that misrepresentation i just want to have any level of insight and transparency mm-hmm. so much like online shopping mm-hmm. i don't think online dating's go away going away it is a multi-billion dollar a year business match.com up the street yeah owns tinder hinge oh they do all i mean basically any big app that you know about other than bumble match.com oh, wow. owns it. oh i had no idea oh yeah so they're up the street bumble's mm-hmm. not far away they're owned by another company that's called um Badu. and um so just any big company you're thinking is owned by somebody else and they're sharing data and they're you know they're doing great right um i just think that we're small and nimble enough as the vouch team that that i want to really focus on what makes dating fun to do again Mm -hmm. where you're not afraid like do you ever drop a pin of you know where you're at on a date in case something happens or send a photo of a guy and like show your friends like hey guys in case something goes wrong this happens to me so often now that the girls are like haha here's where i'm at yeah and i'm like do you know why we're doing we're doing that because we're legitimately afraid we could get hurt on this you know i have i think i've done that with almost every single date that i've been on yeah i'll like take a screenshot of the guy's picture send them their phone number, send my friends his phone number Mm -hmm. and then be like we're going to this place guys don't do that Oh, they don't. Well, no. I mean, th- yeah, that's true. Duh, that's so. Of course, they don't because they. Why would they? <laughs> they don't. But so that's yeah. like that. So so to go go back to why I wanted to join the how I got involved in the vouch team. They specifically and HR people would hate this, but they specifically said we want a female CEO to lead this company. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was because women have concerns about safety and authenticity more often than guys do. Mm-hmm. Guys aren't worried we're going to throw them to a back of a van. Yeah. I surely couldn't. I can barely lift my own backpack. I can't either. Um, but they are, you know, guys have concerns about. Yeah. How many times did their drinks get roofied? Yeah. You know, and but the th- they, it's the same thing, though, that they're looking, you know, to see what to expect about somebody. So they look at vouchers more as, you know, is this. It's funny. I have a friend to you. Um, and again, there's plenty of success that happens on Bumble. I, we had some friends in town visiting from Denver and it was really <laughs> It was really funny, but I was a little bit sad. The guy was like, I have two questions I ask girls that I meet on Bumble in in Denver. And I was Mm -hmm. like, okay, what are they? And he was like, first, have you killed somebody? And I was like, oh my God, that's (gasps) dark. He was like, second, are you in a relationship? And I was like, (laughs) "Those are." have you been concerned about these things? He says, no. Yes. Uh, first thing is like, you know, that have I killed, have you killed somebody is not because they and literally yeah, think it's more like, yeah. are you crazy or not? Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, I'm a three for three, you know, I'm oh for three with dating girls who actually were in relationships that I met online. Like mm-hmm. they were just dating on the side while their husbands were away or oh their boyfriends God. were away. And so guys are like worried that we're using dating apps to like get out of our relationships yeah. and women are worried about safety. And then the same thing, like, mm-hmm. I mean, that's happened to me. I actually just recorded an episode about me finding someone's husband on Bumble oh, and the whole episode is about like, should I tell her, should I not? And then I reveal what I do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I listen mean, to it. <laughs> it's um, the first episode. It's but on you know, on like <laughs> the, uh, it, I mean, so it, it, with vouch, if somebody was in a relationship, they'd probably have zero, you know, you're not going to invite your right. buddies who came oh, over for the Sunday not. barbecue to vouch for you. No. no, they know you're in a relationship. So those yeah. are things to look for. It's, it's different. I'm not going to, you know, say that it's going to be perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have had zero complaints, reports, or, um, you know, filings of, you know, things that people were worried about safety or, Hey, this guy treated me really badly. We haven't had a single incident. And how long has vouch been around? Um, almost three years. Okay. That's awesome. Like none of that feedback in three years. That's crazy. Now, granted, we're not as big as a Tinder or a Bumble and, you know, you might not be able to swipe for three 
hours good. of because that happens to me and I think it's because you know in these kinds of apps the endless options mm-hmm. that you just like swipe swipe and like you were saying earlier like I'm sure I have overlooked people mm-hmm. just because of the like how quickly I'm swiping yeah when tinder first came out how old are you I'm 33. So you were, you remember that like yeah, clearly. I remember. Tinder was like the first one yeah. ever. When Tinder well, first came after out, like OkCupid okay, or Plenty of Fish. Tinder was the first app yeah. that like young people used as a way. And the first time people were even familiar with paying for apps. Like I had never paid mm-hmm. for an app in my life. And then I remember when my friends were like, oh, I'm doing Tinder gold. I was like, you're going to pay $10 a month yeah. or whatever. <laughs> I have not paid yet. I haven't. No. Um, but when that first came out, it was so crazy. Um because I had just moved to Dallas. I had been in a relationship basically all through high school and then all through college. Like I hadn't really been single. Then I moved to Dallas and I was like, how do you, I had worked in the ER. I didn't want to date people that I worked with. Yeah. And Tinder came out and it was like this fun way to meet people that you just wouldn't brush yeah. shoulders with. Yeah. Also, you know, otherwise it, and was, it was fun. Before. Fascinating. Yeah. Um, and then it got real scary. You know, yeah. I've had awful things happen. Things said, done, you know, to, to my friends who were just literally looking for yeah. love. What's they like the worst for, that you've heard? Um, I've had to pick people up mm-hmm. from dates um, and I've heard all of the stories and it's really unfortunate. I have Google alerts on my phone for dating apps and dating mm-hmm. stories and things like that. And more often than not, it is bad things mm-hmm. and, you know, that come through the headlines yeah. and it's, you know, assaults, kidnappings, scams, murders, you yeah. know, there, there are things happening, but like I was saying, you know, an, an online shopping or, you know, these increasingly more digital elements of our life Mm -hmm. there are going to be things that are you know frowned upon or bad things that happen what are companies going to do to combat that yeah and there's this big call for transparency now with online shop you know like i mean let's just take amazon as an example people want to see information about why they don't pay taxes the Mm -hmm. same way that other companies do they want to know you know what you know the transparency about where they're getting things are people getting paid correctly and this isn't just amazon but it exploded and now people shop, you know, if you bought your paper towels on Amazon once, you're probably not going to go back to Kroger and go, you know what I mean? Yeah, like I buy everything on Amazon now. So yeah. in that same way, online dating is not going to go away. Yeah. No, you're and, right. And companies like mine are going to have to be res- responsible and transparent about where the data is going. Mm-hmm. The data. Mm-hmm. I crack myself up in <laughs> an investor discussion. No, I was like, oh, guys, data. It's the data. And then the guys are like. No, not that like, funny. Gosh, damn, not funny. <laughs> um, and so the you know where's your, where's your data being stored? How is it being stored? Um, mm-hmm. Is it secure? And then you know, are you going to be able to have a safe and positive experience on on this product? And yeah. So I I feel very personally responsible for the safety of my users. And oddly, like I know I could be responsible for a life. Like yeah. someone could yeah. meet on this app, get married, have a baby, and you know, like, oh and my I'm gosh, like, I had part in that. I How many- Sorry, Chris, it's ter- it's terrifying, but also like <laughs> this very exciting thing. <laughs> it is very exciting. Yeah. I think it's awesome. So I'm sold. Okay, I'm gonna download it. Perfect. I'll vouch for um, you. Thank Mine you. counts for at least two. Okay, you know? good, good, two good. votes. Um, how many users do you guys have? Do you know? I studied this all day long. Um, in Dallas, we have about twenty seven thousand users. Oh my goodness, that's mm-hmm. a lot. Well, we so it's it's it is, but it isn't. Like uh, our goal, I want to have every city have a million mm-hmm. users. Every every big city. So it's very small. The company, you know, when it launched had this period of reflection, I would say like launched really popular because Sean was backing it, Sean and Catherine. And are they still part of it or? Yeah. Sean, Sean has been actively involved, um, you know, as this brand ambassador for us. And, Mm -hmm. you know, he was known as this more wholesome bachelor who's very open about his faith, you Mm -hmm. know, on the show and. Um, we always give him, you know, hard time that, you know, he's brilliant and gorgeous and super smart and had had successful businesses, but couldn't date in Dallas. We had to go on national TV, (laughs) you know, like, I mean, dating in Dallas to personally has been very hard. Yeah. So, yeah. So if it's hard for us, yeah. Sean, I was like, come on, man. He's beautiful. Yeah. Why would you have a And then he found his soulmate on the show. And so we're like, well, you know, everyone doesn't get a chance to be on TV, but maybe they can find it via this app. Yeah. Um, so they took some, you know, launched the company and then realized, oh my gosh, user experience. And I'm very sensitive to what the product is like, mm-hmm. you know, wasn't great. What do we need to do to improve it? So to be honest, it kind of went dark a bit mm-hmm. to, um, to really pull back, restructure the, you know, the app, make sure we were really addressing the things that users actually cared about, not the things that just the founders cared about, but what do daters want? Yeah. And um, so we relaunched it um, when I joined the team. Mm-hmm. And so that was about a year ago. So we're having this, you know, steady growth and um, I'm totally okay with that. I'm kind of okay with people saying things like I got an email from a guy in the middle of, I think it was Washington. He was like, 
you know, but downloaded out the app and there's three people for me to match with. And I was like, to be honest, sir, that's three more people than I expected. <laughs> yeah. You know, like it's like this remote city. And I was like, OK, or yeah. Detroit. I don't know. I can remember what it was, but he was pissed. And I was yeah. like. I'm excited to hear this. Yeah. How did you find out about the show? Yeah. <laughs> because we had focused, you know, kind of slowly on, on growth Dallas. and where we're, yeah, I've really focused on Dallas. New York is kind of our second hotspot. And I think that's this proximity. So there's so many people in a small area. Yeah. And, um, so we're just, we're raising money right now. We're trying mm -hmm. to grow and get people excited about um, the dating space and not so bogged down by it. Like I want them to see that there's a lot of potential and that it's just truly not going away. I mean, yeah. what other thing will continue for the rest of the time until we turn it into robots like, um, oh is, God. you know, <laughs> dating and yeah. m mating, you know, yeah. like that's just, it's just it's, not going to go away. You're right. All right. Well, I'm definitely sold. So friends, please vouch for me, <laughs> friends and family. Um, but I wanted to go back. You were like, let's talk about pet peeves. Oh, so you probably have a totally different view from what I see because mm -hmm. you're like, you have like an eagle eye view to this. Yeah. So what are like things that you're like, absolutely not like what made you think? Oh my gosh. To like it was okay to post this. Yeah. <laughs> that, so I, I ask, um, it's funny whenever I do, uh, like a public speaking or you know, TV or whatever it is, mm -hmm. I have this like long line of two lines of people to talk to me. And like one line is for people to say like, Oh, I met my husband on, you know, match.com five years ago or whatever it is. And then I've got this long line of people to tell me the awful things that have <laughs> happened to them. I'm like, please, whatever you do on your app, don't let this happen. Yeah. And, um, or like their pet peeves and photos mm -hmm. are like everyone's biggest issue is the group photo. Oh my goodness. Which one are you? I, I do not have time to find sorry, out. Sorry. I'm going to curse. I don't know if you're, I already, cursor, did. But I curse. <laughs> I don't know if you're I already did. I fucking hate that. It's yeah. like when I have to go through five pictures to figure out who you are, yeah. like that there's something Where's wrong Where's Walt? I'm you. on a dating app because I don't have time, <laughs> sir. I don't need to. Yeah. Where are you? No. Which one are you? No. Um, the other thing was like holding a dead fish in a photo. So <gasps> I was like, if you don't want to get engaged quickly, um, just hold a dead fish. In yes. Picture. So <laughs> this account started following me. I have no idea who this person is and it's called like Bait and Tackled oh, and it's no. a small Instagram account and it's, I think it's a girl because all she posts is pictures of guys holding fish. Really? And she covers their face with like an emoji. <laughs> And it's like, why do you guys do this? Or even okay. like hunters that when they're like holding the deer with blood, I'm like, yeah. I, for, I first of all, I don't like hunting, but that I'm not. Most people do. do not. And even yeah. if I do, I don't want to see that. Is that my, the best picture you have? No, yeah. Mm -mm. Jared. Yes. You're like, come on. I don't have, I just come up with all these generic names. Yeah. I don't know. These are not actual people. Yeah. I'm sure they are. Someone has yeah. a Jared no, who's right. holding a dead deer. Probably. But, um, so that's a huge, huge thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so. I don't know if you know this. But I launched a, a company called Midweek that it no. helps people take better dating fo photos. Really? Oh my okay, gosh. So okay. So because I'm that. Um, <laughs> so downloading that one. Listen. So listen. I mean, girls like. I mean, if we were in front of a cute sign, like oh, I yeah. would be like, "Hey, could you just grab a quick photo of me?" Mm -hmm. Guys are weird. Yeah. And so the the hunting photo makes oddly enough perfect sense to me. Mm -hmm. That's their proud moment. Yeah. Like, that's their that's their cute nice brunch sign. spot. That's <laughs> yeah. their you know, the big Dallas sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the big Dallas sign. They don't have to feel uncomfortable because like that's a photo moment mm -hmm. for them. Right. So like that might be the only time that they're like, Hey, they hey, feel comfortable. Snap a photo of yeah. me. I'm, here's this bass. I don't know anything about yeah, hunting. Here's this trout I just caught, you know? <laughs> and, um, and like same thing with, um, guys don't put dead animals in your photos because no, we're not going to like no. it either way. But the other one was like old groomsman photos. Like mm -hmm. they've been in a wedding mm -hmm. and you're like, wow, he looks stressed up. He's nice. And yeah. Like, yeah, that was seven years ago. And you're yeah. like, Jim, why are we doing this? Yeah, no, no, no. Um, and so Jim so I, self, speaking of Jim, Jim selfies. <sighs> when it's like them, like on the, on the, whatever, I don't even know the names of the machines, but like on a machine with their like wife beater and just like a cell. I'm like, why? I can, I can be okay move. with one. Like I help my friends look through. I profiles. like, I would like to see a guy's picture working out, like a cool picture of them. Yeah. Like maybe like a, what's it called? These races, the Spartan race or whatever. Oh, yeah. like, those I'm okay yeah. with. But if it's like you at the gym, like, no, I don't no. know. There's just something so, that just screams douche to me. Photo, photos is, is a huge, huge thing. And I, I think it's, you know, when I launched my friend and I put this together, my friend Skylar, who's a brilliant photographer, mm -hmm. he sometimes he's taking headshots of people and they've never had professional photos taken of them ever. I mean, like how many times have you looked at someone on LinkedIn and it's like you can tell it's a family fit like there's a shoulder oh, yeah. or an a girlfriend well, or mine, to be honest, I haven't right, updated my, my picture. Next customer for midweek. Yes, I um, haven't updated it in a long time. You know, midweek, we didn't launch it because we think it's just super like you have to be hot in your photo. Mm -hmm. No. That's not it. Mm -hmm. I just want a photo of you that you're so proud of and it sh highlights what's great about you that you don't feel like you need to cover it up with a dog face filter yeah. or a, I mean, like 
I can't believe how many filtered photos there are just on Instagram and link, you know, not LinkedIn. Well, sometimes LinkedIn mm -hmm. um, and then dating apps. I'm yeah. Like, you're going to show up. You don't get to have a puppy face filter. Yeah. That's true. At HG supply. Like, yeah. um, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to be dressed like that. So um, or maybe you are. Maybe, I don't know what you're into, but um, we launched, you know, this, this company because it realized pet peeves were really dedicated to like, or a lot of times attributed to bad photos and like, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, them being old pictures. And the other big thing was ghosting. was ghosting. Yes. And oh my gosh, that happens. guys and girls are guilty of it. Yes, I'm guilty of it for sure. And I yeah. think it's way easier on apps because of the endless options. Mm -hmm. and, and you're not looking at them. You would never be like, well, maybe I've what? done this. Well, you go to the bar and someone's talking to you and then you're like, I'm going to be right back. And, and then, then you, you never, never show up. Yeah. I guess I've maybe some. OK, so okay, well, good. maybe and I, Maybe once when you're like yeah. really like maybe you're at a club you you're like okay thanks for the dance I'll come back in a minute and then you yeah. never come back that, yeah. but in a normal situation in person like, ghosting is not as common no. um, because and and like I said when we were talking you know at the very start of this is like this dehumanization mm -hmm. social media has done this too this is not yeah. dating apps well this is just the digital world in general mm -hmm. um, I use a comparison of you know I love to look at Reddit have you ever used Reddit mm -hmm. I mean Reddit encourages you not to have your own name like it, it's meant to be like an anonymous, anonymous thing yeah right people post really intimate things about their lives and yeah. secrets They're and very, things because very, it is meant candid. to be so you know mysterious you don't know who someone is mm -hmm. um but in in turn people are so mean on reddit i went viral on reddit one time you did I didn't have a photo my name was like a combination of my boyfriend's name at the time and my own i blew up on reddit it was a very long story mm -hmm. people were so mean to me <gasps> for no reason and i remember thinking like Kim Kardashian has to deal with this on a date or yeah. anybody who has got, you know, it's any crazy. Love. people are so because they're behind the screen. They can say what and they feel like they can say whatever the fuck they so, want to say. Yeah. And no one holds them accountable to it. And uh, social social has done this to us. Dating apps have done it. Like people are just now a profile mm -hmm. until you meet them. Yeah. And what I always say about vouch is like someone's like, you, how are you so passionate about like in-person interactions? You, you've only basically built and sold apps. Yeah. Um, Everything I do has a personal touch to it and some element of humanization and, and warmth to it. So yeah. vouch, it reflects real life interactions. You have a ton of friends, I'm sure, that would vouch for you. Yeah. I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> if not, <laughs> no, you, like, you do. If, like, if they don't, I'm not, not, not going to match you based on like, you know, no, but it, gimmicky things. Yeah. I'm not going to, you know, there are dating apps dedicated to like, there was one that would match you based on like smells that you liked or things you hated. There was an app called Hater. Yeah. You know, that was just all these things. It was like, okay, but we're not trying to to do that. It's, yeah. it's based on real life elements. And because we want, I don't think it in an increasingly digital world, it means less personal and less social. And that definitely, like having people vouch for you definitely like add that personal element to yeah. it, which and I plus it's fun to see what appreciate. people say about you. Yeah. I want to see what my friends would say about me. The cool thing though is that it's not like, um, it's not like people can come leave reviews on about you yeah. or vouch for, vouch for you. If Do you I have to them. approve the vouch? You approve. So you are the one who's sending out the invites mm -hmm. for people to vouch for you. Yeah. You can ask them to edit something like mm -hmm. so we let them you guys chat within the within the app mm -hmm. but um we want people to you know much like a professional reference you're not going to go ask your reference from right. college that fired you from outback steakhouse yeah. to yeah. your professional like, reference yeah. in the corp, you know in the corporate <laughs> yeah. world do they know you really well no did it end on good terms no mm -hmm. did they know anything yeah, about your probably, growth no. no so like even if you had a bad experience you're going to lean towards getting references from somebody who knows you really well so yeah. in the same way that you can invite anyone to vouch for you you can also as a voucher decline mm -hmm. and i i do that i have friends i have friends I'm sure that I you get a ton of requests adore and i love and um you know would gladly go grab drinks with as you know girlfriends or whoever it is mm -hmm. um but i know what they're like in the dating world yeah and like you're basically co-signing on someone saying yeah she's great she's not gonna ghost yeah. you or she's, or she's not gonna totally gonna go she's you. for sure gonna <laughs> ghost you like <laughs> i've go got friends where i'm like i'm you. just letting you know if this goes badly <laughs> this was not on me um but you know what i mean like it's yeah. it's it's just fun and um again at first meant to be this kind of social cute thing but it provides this um level of safety and authenticity and then accountability that just doesn't exist yeah awesome is it free i forgot to ask that so free okay. we're making it uh, my investors don't love to hear that it's free mm -hmm. for a while i would really rather people get really comfortable with um how to use it the fact that they can invite their friends it's different for people they're used to vouching for other things they're not used to vouching for friends in the dating environment yeah on a platform like this yeah so we're leaving it free um, for a while. Mm -hmm. And I want to keep it that way. I want to make it, you know, so that we grow steadily and that it doesn't feel like, you know, there's another area of this that I'm very sensitive to that some people, uh, 
still want to date but can't afford can't afford to pay yeah. and I don't want someone to feel like they have to pay to get this premium experience I feel like everyone deserves to have a safe dating experience yeah the paid features will be things that are just additional kind of bonus things but it's mm-hmm. not going to be like oh if you pay it's going to be safer and better for you yeah no okay. the baseline is, is safer and better for you I love it so the fun things will you know payment options or paid features and things like that are down the way and we mm-hmm. definitely plan to do that and I think it's a cool way to advertise as well um but I you know I think that everyone deserves to have a safe experience. And so we're going to get as many people on this app as we can for free because they deserve that. Yeah, they do. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing all this, the whole story. And I, again, super sold on vouch. I think that (laughs) it's something that's definitely needed. And I don't think that even as a consumer, I ever really thought about it. And Mm -hmm. I don't have like that mentality of like, I'm not an an entrepreneur in that sense. So I'm glad that someone like you or someone that created Vouch like does have that in mind because it's so needed. And I think that that is one of the biggest things for me is the safety part Mm -hmm. and just authenticity, like you said earlier. So I'm glad that there's something out there that can... Help definitely, me. we're Hopefully definitely find my husband. There you go. <laughs> and if it, I'd like to be the, I'd like to marry. You, okay, you know. Okay, so let's so make that official. If that's, I, that's what I joke. Was like, I need. I we send updates out to our users. Like, hey, if you have a success story, yeah. <laughs> Christiana wants to. What is it called? Like ordain your. No, what is it called? Um, no. Officiate. Officiate. Yes. I don't know what certificate I need to get online. I was like, I'm ready. I think it's easy. I'm I think ready. It's pretty easy. Now. Yeah. By um, the power invested me by the World Wide Web, you know, like whatever it is. Yeah. Um, that's probably absolutely butchered it. But I, you know, we're absolutely still in a growing phase. Um, the cool thing that I mean, and the thing I the part that I'm most passionate about is that we are nimble and small enough that if you were like, you know what, Christiana, this doesn't make sense to me. This actually isn't safe or whatever feedback it is. I have the power to change that. Yeah. Um, other companies who are just so far in their product journey and, you know, lifetime of their business um, don't always have the luxury of being able to um, make those changes as, as quickly. And a lot of times people are taking steps back to fix problems that were, you know, pretty large and glaring yeah. to start with, but might've limited their growth. And that's never been you know, something I, I commend the founding team to, you know, for addressing issues of safety. I mean, we've always had the non-binary gender option. Okay. It's never not been part of that. Good. And I look at companies now going, oh, shoot, we need to go and give all genders the opportunity yeah. or people who don't identify as either the opportunity to express themselves and be clear about that. That's true, because I think that for like gay, for the gay community, it's mm-hmm. grinder, and I don't know what else. But yeah. I know about that one because I have a lot of gay friends. But yeah. you're right. Like they don't go on. T- they don't even think about going on tinder Mm -hmm. you know maybe now but yeah i think it used to be wasn't that it wasn't that case that's right awesome so i want to ask one more thing has there been a success story that has been like i'm sure that all of them are like proud moments for you but has there been one that you've been like this is why i do what i do i have one that that makes my heart really happy um i've got i've made a lot of friends in dallas and i made a lot of new friends for whatever reason last year was just a really really fun time to for me, I think it was, you know, stepping away from traveling so much um, as I did with my my previous business and spent more time in Dallas and I was hosting a lot of events and bringing people together. And I do, I mean, for a period of time, I was doing like seven events a month. Mm-hmm. Um, it was really crazy. And um, I had all these new circles of friends that like didn't really know each other. And so for me, I'm like, oh, why have you guys not met before? It's my, my, my favorite thing to say. Like, oh, you guys don't know each other. Um, anyway, so, so last year I get a message from a girlfriend um, who... Um, she said, I'm, I have a date tonight. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. Who is it? Mm-hmm. Why, you know, like normally she wouldn't tell me unless it was somebody I knew. She was like, somebody I met on Vouch. And I was like, oh my God, <gasps> tell me who it is. Awesome. And she mentioned that because it's, I mean, it's small enough that I can kind of, you know, I know a lot of the people who are on the app yeah. and for, forced all my friends to use it. So mm-hmm. um, she tells me his name and he's very unique, mm-hmm. very, very unique. The sweetest like most adorable thing on the planet. Mm-hmm. He's got um, a different look to him. He's got some like... Uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it, but not your typical dude. Okay. And, um, very, he's very self-conscious about that, but mm-hmm. also super confident and super smart. And she texted me and said, Hey, I've got a date with so-and-so. And, um, I normally would have not swiped right. Mm-hmm. Um, she's like, I've got this type that I always go for, but they've also failed me every single time. So I don't know why I have this type. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I, I understand a lot of people do. Yeah, same. And she goes, but I did see that you vouched for him. And what you said about him and his dedication to work, people and causes is what made me swipe right. And it's not just because you're the CEO of this company, but it really, what you said about him made me think, wow, I wonder what we have in common and mm-hmm. just digging a little bit deeper. And, uh, I'm not a big crier. 
cried my eyes out. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> all right, uh, totally fine. I'm wiping tears away. Um, it was just so special to me because, um, you know, people have made, you know, comments like, you know, oh, you know, you have to be hot to use dating apps. You, you know, you're only going to find success if you're tall and you're only going to find like I even have guys say like, I don't do well on dating apps because I'm a big dude. Mm -hmm. And I hate that. Yeah. Because I know some guys who don't fall into the like, they're the not a Nike mannequin. Have you ever seen yeah, that? Those yeah, guys yeah. are whatever yes. the, yeah. mold they're using. I'm like, people don't look like that. No. In the same way, like not everyone is a size double zero and is also seven feet tall. And, you know, you know yeah. what I mean? Like. We've created these crazy expectations. And my favorite thing is that people, yes, look at the photo. And I and obviously own a company that focus, focuses right. on, on pictures and the dating side. Um, but I love that what Vouch does is it opens up communication to, you know, not just people that like you might not be normally attracted to, yeah. but like just gets you into new neighborhoods, new markets, new, yeah. you know, the way, you know, social media and things like the Dallas Girl Gang mm -hmm. and the Dallas Star community, like, I like connect with a lot of people online mm -hmm. that I just don't brush shoulders with at my office yeah. or I don't see at the wherever. Yeah. And I'm um, dating apps are, are doing just that. And yeah. the story means so much to me because I know what that guy's heart is like. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really matter what he looks like. He's one of the most authentic and kind human beings. And I wonder how many times he might get passed up because he just doesn't fall into a certain category. Yeah. And um, oh my God. that was well, so like, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so special so to true. me. Like that's, yeah. the, you know, I, and it I, makes me feel like how many people have I overlooked mm -hmm. and haven't gotten given them the chance just yeah. because of how yeah. they look. And I think, you know, think about it. You know, we, we give guys these hard, hard time about these dating, you know, their, their pictures and what they look like and. And then, you know, but I also think to myself, like, but what, maybe that's a front for something else. Maybe they don't have the confidence yeah. for X, Y, and Z. Maybe they aren't a Spartan racer, but mm -hmm. they're so proud of fishing with their dad. I don't care. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I, I assume for the most part that people are really kind and have good in their heart. And what I want for Vow and on and offline, I have companies that focus on, on in-person events too, where mm -hmm. I just want people to feel really confident in who they are, whatever that is, and connect you with people that you vibe with and, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect all the time. Yeah. And, um, you know, in the same way that we want, you know, body confidence for girls, I, I want that for guys too. I think everyone deserves that. And I think something like Vouch that, yes, has the photo element and the like, it's instinctual to like look for someone who you're attracted to. Right. But could you unlock, you know, your understanding or awareness about being attracted to other things? Yeah. And if I look at all the guys I've dated, like truly the strangest landscape. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, like looks totally different ethnicities, totally different. One is an MLB player. Mm -hmm. One owned a trash company. One's a personal <laughs> trainer. Like I look at all of them, all different. And they're all different careers and different pathways. But when I look at what connects them, it had nothing to do with looks mm -hmm. and it had nothing to do with anything I could have ever found on a dating bio. Mm -hmm. Um, like a profile it has to do with like they're all in on everything that they do like whatever it is i don't care if you're a trash dude or a janitor or whatever mm -hmm. if you're just all about being whatever that is like that's what i'm attracted to that you can't reflect that on yeah, a. that's true you know? how do you do so that? How, yeah. how do you do that and so i like that you know if you read what my vouchers say about me and i'm not just on there for marketing purposes obviously mm -hmm. but um it says things you know like she's you know really big on certain causes and cares about women in business and great person to travel with. And it's just things like it's hard to be your own hype man. Mm -hmm. And so on Vouch, you don't have to be your own dating hype man. You awesome. get to invite your friends to do all the Yay. hard work. Well, I'm, I'll tell you how it goes. Oh, I'll download you know it we tonight. Need, we need more guys. We, we have the opposite problem that every other dating app has. A lot of people have an issue with getting girls on the dating profile. Really? Yeah. We have a lot of really badass women. Mm -hmm. We're working on getting more badass guys. Like guys, we if you're have, listening, please sign up. Have your buddies vouch for you. A good guys have a good chance on vouch uh, yeah. right now. So okay. hurry up. <laughs> um, but no, we're you were growing, and I would love. I mean, again, tell me what you love, what you hate, and what issues there are. Like we're working really hard to to make it better and um, improve every day. Cool. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks. Um, it was so nice to finally meet you in person and to talk and. To How get do we to get know? first connected or first get connected? So I actually did see you at. Uh, a Dallas Girl Gang event. You were on the panel, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, I want to say it was our two year anniversary. Okay, yeah. At the River. Were, was that the River? Yeah, at the River. Oh, nice. And then through Laura and Wade's wedding, because I yep. wanted to use you guys for our holiday party mm -hmm. um, at my company. Mm -hmm. And then we didn't end up going with you guys because okay. we were on a budget, but yeah. maybe next year. Um, did you do a video? Did you do one at her wedding? I did. Did I help you with it? I was working. No, that. you were. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I see. I didn't see you. There. <laughs> I show up to all. She, of Samantha was also there. Samantha's here, guys. She's taking uh. pictures. <laughs> 
Um, did no. you get to do? Did I force you onto it? I usually do. <laughs> uh, it was amazing. I loved it. I wanted wait, to get more. Were you sh- were you shooting the wedding? No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. I was gonna say like I always ask the photographers to jump up because I know like you guys are really you know like you're well aware of like what good content looks like like mm-hmm. people who are like three glasses of wine they don't care what they look like in 360 oh, yeah. they're like what is this thing yeah um, I mean I felt great and then yeah. that was after like three glasses ah, of wine. okay I'm that's like, cool Woo! I know I was at a it was a cool event I got fake married at break and clutch was uh oh you did. I did a photo shoot. I'll just show you. Okay. I married my photographer oh. <laughs> who does all my stuff. He dyed his hair bleach blonde two days before. I was like, Tim, no. <laughs> you look like a K-pop star. <laughs> I cannot marry you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so good to finally meet you. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for our future. Oh, me too. I can't wait to vouch for you. Oh, thank you. Um, so where can people find you? Um, I'm very easy to find, easy to find. Um, I don't think anyone in the world has my same name as me. My parents were mean to me. Um, <laughs> Instagram is a really good way to keep up with all the projects I have. And that's just Christiana Yebra um, as my handle. And then LinkedIn is another great spot to see events more on the professional networking side and um, kind of thought leadership type of opportunities. And then Vouch is just try Vouch app on Instagram and it's available on the Apple store app store right now. And we're working on rolling out Android um, here in the near future. Cool. Are there any Vouch events coming up? Um, maybe like in Mar- uh, what month are we in? March. Um, maybe like April, May. We're working on a lot of fun stuff. We are um, every month we do a lot. Um, like I said, as you know, as digital as we are, I drew I, I find any excuse to get people together and connected and then. Um, so we've got a lot of things So just follow us on Instagram. You'll see we do a lot of um, the bachelor season is mm-hmm. about to end. And because of kind of our natural tie into the yeah. bachelor, we do a lot of really fun things with that community, which a lot of people come from Dallas. Yeah. Um, so we do yeah, a lot there's of fun a ton stuff. Of couples that are here. Yeah. A lot. A lot. And a lot of like contestants that were there. You know, yeah, they yeah. they love Dallas girls. So if you want to, should I nominate you? Would you ever go on that show? On The Bachelor? Yeah. Or would you be The Bachelorette? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like immediately read like I'm so oh at my it. Oh my goodness! I mean, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, but that I mean, that's kind of. I like, mean, I'm down. I wish that they had people. I see those girls on I that show. I'm like, who would, get... would vouch for her? Yeah, same. So okay. like, maybe we need to vouch for her. Get... Yes, we should. Yes, I'm down. We can talk more. Okay. <laughs> I'll nominate. I know some people to call. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, that's a great way to end this. All right. Well, okay. So, you guys so stay tuned, bachelor. guys. Yeah. I'm about to be really famous. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, thank you so much again. This was so much Thanks. fun. I and uh, it. guys, if you like what you heard, just rate, review, subscribe, and stay tuned for another episode in the next couple of weeks. Let her know if you vouch for this podcast. Yes. You know. Please, please leave do. a good review. Please do. All right. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye.